Uh, hello, and uh, well, welcome to another Thinky Games stream uh, where I show you a few games that have been uh, released recently, games that have been released a long time ago, and sometimes games that haven't even been released. But first, as usual, I'm going to go through the Thinky Games news um, that has been out on the website. So, what have we got this time? Uh, yes, apologies for skipping last week as uh, I suffered from an irretrievably uh, br body breaking migraine. Uh, about a week ago, so I needed to postpone to one more week. Right, where are the buttons? See, the migraine has decided to uh, destroy my knowledge of all my buttons. Let's bring up Thinking Games. So, uh, what have we got on the site this time? Right, well, <laughs> uh, Joe's usual massive, huge roundup. Oh, hello, Vfig. See you there in the chat. Um, so, uh, yeah, the whole roundup of everything that was in May, and I guess we're going to get his uh, June update pretty soon. So we've got uh, Mobile Crime Lab. I'm quite interested in this. This is apparently a puzzle party game. Um, and Port Ponky did um, my much-beloved um, Recursed. Um, I'm not saying this is going to be as like a, a crazy as Recursed or anything like that, but I'm, you know, excited to try this out. Uh, hi, Greg. Um, the Pigeon Post Principle. So, yep, um, this is a, a Ludum Dara game, Sorting Center Savant. That's a free web game. What we've got here, ASAP Boxy or a dollar AP Boxy. Oh, hello, Joe. I've got a full house now. Uh, Deliver to Whence You Came, Little Postman, Golden Idol Mysteries. I think this is one of Joe's favorite games of all time, right? The, uh, um, I haven't played The Case of the Golden Idol yet. I feel like it's one of the things I should have a go at. Uh, Lottie, a five minute puzzle platformer. Obsidian Sentinels, we've got some, um, we've got some board games on here. And I see this and I think it all kind of looks very nice, doesn't it? So Greg is uh, confirming Spider of Lanka was very good. The base game is Logic Cats, a beginner friendly programming game. I'll play that quickly. So, I, um, I'm not sure what to make of this video. <laughs> I guess it's some kind of programming game. You can see the, the, oh, behind my head, you can't see it. No, no, it's not behind my head. It's right here. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's some sort of uh, programming game. But I'm not quite sure how that works. Um, logic and Cat says VFIG, unbelievable. It is unbelievable. Have their own internal logic. That's what we're here to find out about. So, Legend of Zelda apparently has some puzzles in it. Uh, I've never played a Zelda game in my life, but played many Zelda esques. Um, v Hunter Puzzler DX, which we did do in the stream last time. Uh, Yacht Studios, Yacht Studios' first game, Humanity. Uh, yeah, I played this earlier on. Um, kind of a. All right, I'm just. It's kind of a bit of a, a, a yeah, bit of a crazy um, uh, video. Uh, but it's a kind of a lemmings type game. I, I'm not exactly sure how it works, but you ordering people around with a dog, something like that. Um, it is ticking. Uh, some sort of bomb defusal game. We, we there are a few bomb defusal games out there, so I was interested. Um, interested to see this one. Uh, Mouse Symmetric, another board game for two players. Uh, looks quite nice. It's from you know the developer of Barber is You. Uh, Firmament, which uh, continues its long-running uh, problem with not embedding videos for us <laughs> uh, from the uh, Mist and Riven developers. Transneuronica, which of course we did in this stream. I've been working on Transneuronica here and there. I hit a rough patch where there was a very large level, um, which I didn't like, and I'm going to complain about that. Uh, but after getting through that, there's some kind of more interesting uh, levels after getting through that bit. And Shape Theory, which we're going to have a look at later on uh, in the stream. Agriculture, um, that's a, another free web game. And Puzzle Compound, Polybridge 3. And I played no Polybridges so far. Now, Joey's just brought up in the chat that um, there's, they've got no news post for it, but the Thinky Game Jam finished last night, and there appears to be 59 submissions. Uh, he's put in brackets so far. Um, Finished and so far in the same sentence, points out greeting Scar, yes. But at least he put the so far in parenthesis. Um, so uh, maybe the puzzle is to actually uh, figure out how many there really are. 
All right, so what else have we got here? We've got a little announcement on Mars First Logistics. Finally entered in uh, to early access. Uh, we're going to look at this later. I, I'm, I'm always taught about whether I want to play puzzle games in early access or not, because if you see too much of them before they're, they're full release, you don't really want to play them again or whatever. But um, we're going to take a look at, uh, at Mars First Logistics later on today, which um, uh, really hits that sort of, you know, um, what's the word, the, the look of... Um, uh, you know, Lego instructions. Uh, and then uh, Corey brings up the demo for a cryptic logic puzzle game called Cypher Zero, which is, um, uh, which I didn't know anything about, it, but didn't know anything about, but honestly, it kind of looks interesting. It's got lots of kind of uh, glyphs. Um, stuff happening. So there you go. Uh, I can't tell you much more about that game, but uh, it kind of um, grabbed my attention. Look at this. Come on. You got, you got symbols, grid. What else do I ask for in a, in a game? Um, okay, so uh, and also now on top of the list of uh, all the games that were released in May, we've got the, um, a list of uh, games from the Steam Next Fest. I mean, it's not everything. It's just a, a selection of picks. We've got an old friend Viewfinder. Um, Pack right down the bum burrows, which I didn't actually, I had heard of it, but I actually played the trailer and I'm like, oh, it's kind of, it's kind of cute. Um, I guess it's got that, um, headlong hunt kind of vibe. Chase an animal to, into a trap. Yeah, so... Um, that kind of grabbed my attention. Uh, Cypher series we just talked about. Escape from Mistwood Mansion. Headlong Hunt. Um, from Toombler. Uh, Danger Ducklings. CB1. I'm uh, not sure how to pronounce that. But it's from We Are Muesli. Uh, they do some interesting stuff. Um, like, uh, was it Wheels of Aurelia? Ah, uh, can never quite remember. Um... Bfig says, Cypher Zero unfortunately puts all its nice art into the overworld screens where you rarely see it. Instead, you spend only time with the visually sparse puzzles. Well, you know, maybe, maybe that's, that's all we need. I'll just, maybe I'll just forget about the overworld pictures, nice pictures in the overworld. Uh, Lovux, a minimalistic puzzle game where you break all glasses on the screen using different glass types. Station to station. It always reminds me that, um, <laughs> There, there was a, a a joke on the Shut Up and Sit Down video for their Ticket to Ride review. And um, they talked about all the millions of Ticket to Ride expansions that, that come out. And they made a joke like, and now Ticket to Ticket. Uh, and so when I saw Station to Station, I immediately thought of Shut Up and Sit Down. Tiny Stickler Tail, Land Above, Sea Below. Very good. Uh, stick to the Plan. It's on my radar. Spirit Swap, Ghost Trick, Random, Phantom Detective. <laughs> random Detective, that would be something very different. Uh, crossover Roll for Initiative, an RPG paper character sheet. Defend your tabletop RPG paper character sheet from invading pixel enemies. Hello, Matt VT. Oh, okay. That's uh, very uh, exciting looking for a puzzle game. Uh, Tactic Cube, a uh, puzzle and tactic game where you terraform your environment to put it to good use against an army of construction mechs. Growth. Okay, hexagonal grid based soft strategy game. There's so much here. Vern, the shape of fantasy. I mean, oh, you know, that's giving me kind of like, uh, I'm not even going to press play, but it's giving me um, um, sword and sorcery vibes. Metrics Worlds, Golden Record Retriever, my god. So many puzzle games. Um, at least uh, some of these haven't come out yet, right? There, there's a lot of demos. <laughs> uh, wow, okay. So uh, that's uh, everything I want to mention on the Thinky Games website. And I need to turn my volume down. It's a bit too loud in my ears. There we go. It's good to be loud for you, but not in my ears. Um, the password game, uh, this has been doing the rounds at the moment. I'll just dump it in. Um, yeah, there we go. There's the, the password game in the notes there. And 
I it's very funny and clever. Um, it's like that uh, other UI parody game. I can't remember what it was now, but it was like every bad user interface trope chucked into one game. It's very funny, free, but um, but slightly exasperating. And this is very similar to that. Um, so let me just go, uh, I put in a password. Okay, this isn't a real password. So don't worry, I'm not giving away any secrets. Not giving away any secrets. So um, your password must include a number. Okay, fine. Must include an uppercase letter. Okay, let's go for any. Your password must include a special letter. Let's go for exclamation mark. The digit in your password must add up to 25. So you're starting to see that it's getting a bit funny on you. So let's uh, put in a nine. It takes me to 12. Another nine. That takes me to 21. How about four? There we go. Your password must include a month of a year. Well, okay, let's go for August. Must include a Roman numeral. Okay, X. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to leave it there um, and you can have a go at yourself. I got to rule 20 and then something happens to rule 20, which is very funny, but it made me close it. <laughs> I was just like, I'm, I'm done after this point. Rule 20 is the point where I was like, no more. Um, so um, the HR system login says, Greg, at work is actually worse than this. <laughs> And uh, Matt PT says, I love when they reject the secure passwords my browser generates. Yes, that has happened so many times. I'm sorry, it needs to be eight characters, not the 25 you just put in from Mozilla Firefox. Um, that's the password game. Uh, and I, I should also drop in, um, I did <laughs> side by side uh, the, co the multiplayer, local multiplayer series I do with Greg, who's in the chat. Um, I've been a bit slow getting this out, um, but we've actually, I've got the, the Mork Red one out, which is, um, it's basically a, a it's a co-op um, sort of puzzling game where you just have to push this white orb around and if you get into a shadow then one of the characters will die so just a quick snippet uh, you want to go to the other side right now the problem is my shadow will kill you when I do this right oh yeah so you've got to come come all the way out of your head oh oh yeah you have to go first there we go you have to go around like that yes I'm pulling. Here we go. Back. Oh, ha hang on, hang on. Um, yeah, we got a swap. Yeah, there you go. That's right. It's interesting. It forces a swap on us. <laughs> so there you go. If you want to watch the rest of that. <laughs> um, some reason it's got time one second in there. Very good in that link. Um, but that is the last puzzle experience of Side by Side, so I won't be throwing any more out to you uh, for the rest of this series. We've just got one more, and that's going to be all action-packed. So yeah, I won't mention that in Thinky Games. Um, so uh, how can we make a game around two-factor authentication mentions, Matt? I don't know. I don't want to play that game. <laughs> did you just say one of the cats would die? No, I did not say one of the cats would die. One of the characters. One of the characters. That's the, you can see them over there, Joel and Greg, the, the shadowy figures there. Um, I am talking without making my mouth move. Um, okay, so I think that's everything that we can talk about um, um, before going into games. So now it's time to get into games. So let's get into games. <laughs> First thing I'm going to bring up is Backbeat. Let's take a look at this. There we go. So this is Backbeat from Ichigo Ichie, and this came out in March. It's on loads of platforms, Windows, Mac, Switch, PlayStation, 4 and 5. Um, and so I thought I'd take a look at it. I saw another video of it recently. I thought, oh, well, I'm kind of interested to see what this game is, is like. Um, <laughs> Uh, Matt's raising the question, can this live up to the most horrifying trailer music <laughs> ever? Okay, okay. So I'm going to start from the beginning, but I'm going to move through the game pretty quickly. Because um, if you go through all the text and the, the, the talking, it'll, we can be here for quite some time. And I've, and I've seen it all before, so... Um, right. Can we do level select? This is very confusing. <laughs> As you go left and right, it's changing all the options at the bottom, but it really is. You're going through all the options. The only one it's selected is the one at the top here. It says credits, and I move right. I get to forum page. 
So let's go for level select. Let's go. So I'm going to fast forward through a lot of the story stuff. So it's nice aesthetic, aesthetic with a sort of, you know, you know uh, camcorded video on there. Although that disappears pretty quickly. It doesn't stay there in the game. Um, so then you've got a lot of uh, conversations. You can change it to advance by itself as well. So it's advancing slowly by itself. And uh, you can also do it quickly. Uh, the only thing I find a little bit uh, awkward about about these uh, discussions is that when um, they change who's speaking, so that the headshot will change. The the headshot changes before the text. So there's this moment quite a lot where you see the headshot change, but the old text is there for the previous person. And I get slightly confused that I missed uh, misreading something. It's kind of a uh, bit of awkward dissonance. Remember, I will skip through all this. That's the prelude. So, right, you know what? This game needs to be played with controller. I did try with mouse, but it it's not great, the controls for the mouse. Um, oh, you can see here, like, the, the character's changing before the text. You can see exactly what... Oh, oh she's moved down the bottom now. It's not, tech, not the top anymore. <laughs> um, so... I you can use the mouse, but I find it very awkward. So let's just skip through all this. So all you have to do, you can use the mouse, um, you can use the controller to point to where you want to walk. And you can see basically you've got several moves in the in the bar at the top. So if I move up and I press the A button, then I will do that move. And I just have to get to the you know, square <laughs> where the, the the destination square. So let's um, uh, skip all that. That's the basic tutorial. Um, it's the next level where you get a second character. Um, it was recommended to me by the developers to play through some levels first, and I agree. <laughs> Uh, I actually found it quite confusing to begin with, so I'm giving you the benefit of, of my uh, fixed confusion. So, um, let's see, where have I got to get to? i got to go and find the guy. You can see I can't walk through people and go down there. So I've got two steps at a time. So I'll just wind it back. Go down. And then I can get to the other guy, and this is going to be my second character. And now we're going to do something together. Okay, let's just skip the text because that's partly tutorial. Um, so at all times, it gives you a chance of uh, quite a lot of time. It gives you a chance of playing the tutorial again because I did skip once and I missed what I was I missed what I was supposed to do. So this is here's the thing, right? Both your characters have to get to the destination spot, and they've got an independent independent timeline. And that was the confusing thing. They both have a separate timeline, so you can um, control them separately. So I'm currently controlling uh, Toshi, and this is now I'm controlling Guitar Lady. <laughs> I can't believe I've forgotten the name. It's been popping up all the time. Um, okay, there we go. So uh, let's. He's got a keyboard. So maybe I can go around here to the exit. Let's see. No, it can't go there. Oh, I missed it. This is the thing. Ashley. Maybe... No, I don't think it was Ashley, but Ashley was the person, the other person who was talking. Uh, this is another thing I kind of get confused about sometimes. The You see, the exit is there just over to the left a little bit. And I thought this was glass. <laughs> I thought this I could walk through here, but it isn't. Uh, I, that does confuse me sometimes. So maybe I just wind this guy all the way back. Okay. So you can see he can't get out this exit, right? It's in, it's impossible because he steps over two steps. So if I go for the other exit here. It's aligned perfectly for him. 
and he can get on it. And that's the end of his timeline. So I can swip, swap, swap, swip to Guitar Lady, um, who I'll figure out the name of. And she's lined up for the other exit. Now they're both in the zone at the end. And then you can see them do their little walk together. What? That's what her name was. <laughs> okay, we didn't see us do our thing together. Okay, maybe in another level you'll see us do our thing together. Right, so let's have um uh where where am I on? Gearhead. No, I didn't I just do D gearhead? Excuse me. Oh good morning, Conclone. Um and welcome to the chat. Yep, I've chosen the wrong thing. How do I get back? Let's go. Uh, hmm. Do I do quit? <laughs> uh, all right, I do do quit. Right. It's very confusing where I'm on this menu. Gear head. That's the one I want. No, that was in the garage. Okay, let's go for in the garage. Crowley Sun says that has to be the most complicated way to draw two lines I've seen. Right. Um, let's wind this one back. Surprise, I got stuck there. So, um, we're now together and we've got to get to the destination in the house. And, you know, let me just um, reset this so I can just do this one all over again. Hang on. Reset puzzle. Right, so maybe I want to walk what's down here. Uh, Matt is saying, is this something where you plan things out, but eventually you have to coordinate when you play the solutions up? There is a little bit of that. To be honest, they can actually, it seems like they can cross over. Uh, let me just um, leave what's pause there. You can do pausing as well. Not on this level, I guess. I'll just make a walk back and forth like this. Now let me switch to the other character. So they can sort of like, they don't have problems with each other, um, but you do have problems with other people. But there will become an issue, a complication a little bit later on where you do have to start thinking about what they're doing at the same time. And uh, we'll cover that shortly. Uh, let's just reset the whole thing. Reset puzzle. Okay, so let's get Toshi down here. That's okay. Now let's go to Watts. Ah, so Watts can't go around here. Room's in the way, so I'll have to walk the other way like this. Oh, there we go. There's another one where the, the graphics get a bit confusing. It's 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 nice. There's a grid over the floor as well, but I just I I it looks like there's just. Because of the darkness there, it looks like there's just one level. Like the darkness looks like um, the edging, right, of a, of a 3D, 3D um, environment. It doesn't look like an extra layer of carpet. Okay, there we go. And then finish. And you get them walking together. Tea break time. saying remove those walls and it is possible to do the puzzles better or worse um, it's not so much at the moment but later on when you get the the stagger mechanic uh, brought in then it's judging on how well you're actually um, what kind of solution you've done let's skip that okay let's uh, as my usual thing I'm gonna skip more conversation um so in the in the garage is next oh <laughs> okay i guess there was a 
uh, no actual Okay, so I'm going to rewind this whole thing. Start reset puzzle. So now you're going to get your third band member. So, and this time we've got to avoid people walking about. So if I try and walk in front of this person, it's not going to work out. And there's a zone around them, right? You see the four spaces. You can't be anywhere in that zone in their positions. But I can just about, you see, I can just about make that because they move out of the way as I do the forward wall. I'll go in there. Now what I can do is wait, which is the Y button. There we go. That's what's done. Let's swap over to Toshi. Yeah, he can't, I think he'd have to wait there. Let's wait. Oh, go ahead, wait again. He's having to wait a lot. I wonder if he should take a different route. <laughs> Actually, it was okay. So... Watch them do their thang together. I, don't, I, quite, I quite like this... Um, <laughs> I guess it depends on whether you appreciate the, the music or not. Uh, but I quite like the little... You know, um, I'm doing that thing at the end. Okay. Right. Let's um. Let's go to Battle of the Bands. Is this a puzzle? Or not? It looks like it's a puzzle. It's like it saved it a position when I finished. Let me just um uh nope. I'm gonna reset that puzzle so you can see me do it from scratch. So now we've got three of them. And the, the thing with the drummer is that he has this there's a bit in the hick try to explain it where he's had had an accident once and now he can he has trouble sometimes stopping himself walking or something like that. Um so if I switch to this character and see, he's got these really long walks and he will go this far unless there's something in his way. So I'm going to show you. This is the thing that really confused me. Um, so you see, he will only go as far as that chair, but he'll stop. Otherwise, he will go as far as he can. Um, yeah, Matt saying the music is fine. The part in the trailer where they sang the description to the music was... Ah... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what Matt's voice sounds like, but I'm sure it sounds something like that. Uh, what else have we got here? So, uh, let's see if we can get this done. So, I found so far I haven't had to redo... Until you get the stagger mechanic, you can just basically do them all independently. It, it's fine. They don't bump into each other. So, maybe I just hold her there. There we go. And have her come around and walk there into the end space there. Who we got now? Let's get uh, Toshi done. Go there. And Toshi go in this way. Can be done. A bit tricky. Ah, but he doesn't line up with the door. That's the only thing. Sometimes you find that um, their alignment is out, and there's no way to it's there's no way to really fix them. He's moving on like a two by two, so if he's ends up in the the wrong row or or grid, uh, wrong row or column of the grid, you can't get him out of it. You've got to find a different way of getting him in. So let's walk him all the way back. Yeah. Oh dear. Wow. Really. Got a long walking. Did I get this right? Oh no! Looks like I. Uh... Oh, so uh, Matt's pointing out, um, like, and Unitide. In that game, it was like everything went all the way at once. Yes, yes, it's a blast from the past. Um, I made a mistake here. The 
because if I... Oh, I just go up here, I have to go back, right? <laughs> That's right. There we go. I, I wasted a move going backwards. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I don't know the, uh, the real world explanation for all their crazy walking. So the problem, this guy, you've got to get him into... <laughs> He'll just keep on walking too far otherwise. So, I don't know. You need to get him lined up with an entrance, I think. There we go. I saw that the, that's where the, the bin was there. I knew I had to get him into it somehow. So that's okay. Um, right, let me skip through. No, I'm terrible. I keep on having to look at buttons. I'm terrible. Which one's the button? Um, there's another one here. You know what? Let's go back to the menu. Let's do the quit. And I want to show you the. Was it open mic night where they explained stagger? it was. This is really confusing. I really had to take a couple of runs at this to understand what was going on. So let me just change the character. Yeah, it's a stag. I see it now. So here's the thing. They want you to, if you're going to play good music, you've got to mix it up a bit and you've got to not like, um, it's like you've got to not all change course at the same time uh, make it like for one person to lead the other sort of thing and the way they have the idea in the game is that if too many people if if the characters turn at the same time then you lose your stagger and that's shown at the bottom left of the screen there and if you lose all your stagger then that's it you can't you can't get any further in the puzzle you're gonna have to wind back and sort it out if you maximize your stagger by the end of the level, um, then you get like, hey, well done, S plus kind of uh, grade. Um, so there's multiple solutions here and some are considered to be better than others. So I haven't, I only really cracked this last night because I was like, I'm a, bit, I'm a bit in trouble if I have to show back B today and I don't understand what I'm doing. So let's, um, show you how it goes. So if I go forward and then I turn, you see a little triangle appears up there. It's showing that that's where Watts turned. And if you want the other characters to, you know, not re to improve your stagger, you got to make sure they try not to turn at the same time. So let's have her move turn straight away. So you can't go that far. Ooh. He has to get to the... Wow. Let's get there. <laughs> there is the place to get. So let's change to Hoshi. Oh, so I uh, see so I already he's lined up. The only way to do it by making him move straight away. Oh that's alright though. Oh, sorry, make him turn straight away, so he doesn't have to. Oh he still has to. That didn't make any difference whatsoever. Okay, now... No, we can't go that way either. One more. So, I could now... T Still turning with Watts. I have a feeling Toshi needs to go... Down this way. Okay, so he's got there. Um, Snagger looks quite strong to me. So let's flip to the other character. Okay, drummer dude. He's gonna have to turn... Oh, he's gonna go all the way there. That's not good. Maybe I go backwards? 
No, that's no good, right? It's just gonna be uh, stuck. Down here. Cross. <laughs> Go back. I have a feeling this is a terrible solution. Oh, now there's someone walking down here. Let's try him going upwards. Around the top here. You can see the stagger, um, stagger strong, and the stagger goes down. If it goes down completely, that means they're all turning at the same time. All right, now they're all in. How well did I do in that one? I'm a bit of a junior at this mechanic. Um, so I'm not quite sure how well I'm doing on it. C in that one. I think I did this. I did S plus before. Uh, not very good. Oh well. I mean, it's not terrible. I, I, I solved the puzzle, right? Um. So let me try and do a level I haven't done before. So let's have a go at tunes of my hammy. At some point, we're going to get four characters because yeah, there's four characters on the title screen. There was actually some more DLC added recently. I think in May, June, uh, some, uh, when did it come out? It came out in March. Yeah, I think it was some new uh, DLC added. Uh, I don't know what's too much about that. I'm still working uh, through the game. So, am I going to take a risk with skipping the instructions? Because if you skip the instructions... Um, oh, a saxophone player. Well, this is our new guy. That's Chaz. Gotta catch before he gets to this car, okay. Let's see, let's find out. Yeah, we have to rest, we know about that mechanic. Let's beat him to his car, so we've gotta to get to his car before he gets there. All right, let's see. Okay, this is quite a long walk, isn't it? Alright, so... I'm gonna have to go around here. Oh, the stagger is still... Oh, look at that. Can I, can I wait there? Want some, some more? I have to walk around like this, right? Okay. Watts is there. Um, so Toshi goes. So I want to say one of the things, things that got very confusing is because when I switched character, suddenly it rewound and I thought, what, did I just undo all my work? <laughs> but no, that's not actually the way it works. It's just, they haven't done their walk yet. Hey. Okay. Oh, okay. I have to wait one more time. Okay, so Toshi's in there now as well. One last character. <laughs> Rubber dude whose name I've forgotten. <laughs> well, he's only been in a few levels. So Joe is saying, imagine trying to get to your car as a bunch of musicians slowly descend and you were playing funk music. Horror movie material. Oh dear. Let's do a wait. Have to wait a bit, isn't it? Oh wow. Have to walk backwards and walk over. He can go underneath, right? Like that. Yay! I do like the lamp shading of how the characters are having super dramatic dialogue about the constraints imposed by the fairly silly in the fiction puzzle mechanics. As told me by Matt in the Twitch chat. Uh, 
a drummer. Really slowly walk one step. Oh, there we go. A. Not quite S grade. <laughs> Gary saying a sax. Now we're talking. You sound pretty good. I know. Thanks for demos for sale. Ten bucks a piece. I could book out a deal if you buy more than one. It's very dapper, doesn't he? Dapper. Now there's a word I don't use often. Um. So I'm gonna stop here. Um. <laughs> it's been on this uh, a while, and I, I've, I've got to carry on. Uh, you know, off stream and, and see how far I get um, and what happens in the, in the later levels because I feel like the mechanics are only just coming together and be interested to see how it gets. Is the drummer beatboxing without a drum kit? Does it count as rehearsal? Ask Salty Horse. Oh, it's a question, all right. Um, can I just say though, the game that really gets my juices flowing music-wise in, in the puzzle department is um, uh, Kine. I'm terrible at the game. It's a, basically a Steven Sausage Roll type of game. Um, but it's really, really good the way the, all the um, music comes together in that game. Uh, it really has a sort of, when I'm playing it, it, it makes me think a lot of, um... Oh, God. It's, got, it's gone. It's a film. It's a musical. It reminds me of that. Kinect? Man, where are you going with this? <laughs> Kinect. Kinect. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's from, that's from Gwen Frey. Oh, God, please get the name right. Uh, who are now working on Chup, Chup Squad, who are now working on Lab Rat. Um, but it's 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 very hard. I've tried starting it three times, and there's always a certain point that I just can't get my brain over. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't go searching for a Connect game, Matt. Um, maybe I'll try and show that uh, on another another stream sometime because it, it is really lovely. Um, but damn it, I, it's just too hard for me. Um, but yeah, you can you can see. Um, Oh, Kina has no Mac port. Sorry about that, Matt. Uh, I'll have to show it in stream now. A stream that you won't be able to wake up for. <laughs> All right, that was Backbeat. Let me just put the details in the chat for you. So, there we go. Um, there's the link. And every platform known to man except for the 8-bit computer. Uh, well, I think we need to move on to um, me quitting out of that game. Uh, we're going to go into Mars First Logistics now, which I haven't touched on very much. I just checked it works. That's all I've done. So I have very little ex exposure to this, unlike Backbeat. So this is from um, Ian McLarty, now calling himself Shape Shop. Um, and this has gone into early access uh, just a couple of weeks ago. Um, only available on Windows, I'm afraid for our Mac lovers in the audience, like Matt. So let's just start a new game. Uh, slightly curmudgeonly point, he says. It kind of seems like the puzzle parts of that would be more transparent with simpler graphics. Yes, I think so. I, I'm getting hung up on the graphics a bit more in Backbeat uh, than the actual puzzles themselves. But I'm interested to see when the puzzles are getting actually challenging. So let's start this out. Okay, so this is your first day job. Should I use the controller? Yeah. Okay, uh forward. Forward. Okay, it's a it's the it's these triggers. Yep, sounds good. Oh, uh here's the camera. Good. Oh camera zoom. Camera out, camera in, good. Reset vehicle. Hold. I love that effect. It's lovely. <laughs> um, in fact, I'm going to zoom in and do that one more time. 
I can imagine, I mean, that, that kind of effect, making that feel so good, did not happen overnight. I can imagine slaving over that for three days, trying to get the timing and the right click and the speed of it all to work. Right, where am I looking? Uh, map. So I'm bringing up my Steam friends list. Um, that's not the map button then, is it? Okay, I have a new contract in my inbox. Accept it to proceed. Okay, I just accept it. Okay. All right, well, I'm just gonna just follow the nav markers. Okay, so we're looking over here. Follow the blue marker to collect your cargo. Handling feels kind of nice. Okay, oh, jeez. All right, I've got to uh, pull back. Edit vehicle, it says. I've got a blueprint designed specifically for this job. So, um, yeah, let's go and choose the blueprint. Oh, no, no, I use left button, right button. Okay. How do I do it? I pull down arrow. Okay, and I want to change to the watering can lifter. All right. That's straightforward. Okay, come out. Oh, got controls. So... Oh, look at that. Uh, Solly Horse is asking if it's a stranding like... I, I can't tell you, I've not played Death Stranding. Um, and it does have um, um, online co-op. Okay, that's not going to work, is it? Uh, how do I... You know, I need to turn this camera around a bit so I can... <laughs> okay, okay, that's, that's not... No, no. Honestly, I did this with mouse before. I should just go back to the mouse. Oh my god, there we go. Well, thank you ladies and gentlemen, that's probably death of the vehicle, uh, death, death of the, uh... <laughs> yeah, go back a bit. Is that even going to come up now? Okay, let's go back a bit, I'm getting these confused. Oh my god. Let's move the camera, shall we? Right. How far does Sam go? Quite a long way. This was a lot easier when I did it first time, honestly. Oh! <laughs> oh, a bit more. Yes! What happened? Um, so Matt is saying, yes, it's a klutz-like. Um, oh, and uh, Conklon is saying that they found uh, bought Photon Engineer. I think they found it for this account, enjoying it very much. Yeah, I've played some more um, Pho Photon Engineer myself. I've got ahead of a few levels, but I haven't... Um, I don't know how far I am through it. Some interesting mechanics in there. Come up. Okay, uh, camera time. <laughs> Where am I going? I don't know, where am I going? I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to that spot, right? So, uh, did I spill the water already? I don't think it contains water, it's just a watering can. You know, the kind of thing you need on Mars. Oh, no, 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 no. Oops. Okay. That didn't happen before. I just went in a nice straight line. I am, I am in two minds about these kind of chaos games. Sometimes, oh, you know, um, chaotic physics games, you know. Um, I'm pressing the wrong buttons, that's what the problem is here. The wrong button. There we go. Let's not go over any hills and stuff now. I'm not a fan of 
personally, I'm not a fan of like Bennett Foddy's games. I mean, they're kind of good for a laugh, but I can't, you know, I couldn't do getting over it. I mean, I, I just can't do that. Uh, saying someone who played 80s video games for no, you know, hours on end. God, every 80s game was like a Bennett Foddy game. Um, <laughs> new contract, crate. Is Def standing physically at physics-y? I know it's about making deliveries. Uh, Conklin saying I need to get over it. <laughs> so I need to look at the map. Take a crate from the storage depot to the greenhouse. Unlocks a crate carrier. Okay. Right, so let's go and get this. Um, uh, David Mini, David David Mini, I'm not pronouncing that. Uh, said that Bennett Foddy also made Apo. Yes, yes, I, 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 he worked with uh, Gabe. Oh, the name reminds me. He was, he was more of a, um, he wasn't the main designer of that game, right? Um, but I have got Apo. It was very interesting Apo. Uh, a bit like a Hotline Miami type game. Um, very fun. I played a bit at um, a Res previously. Okay, so do I get, did I get another blueprint? Not yet, it seems. Pick up crate. Oh, what? How am I going to pick up that crate? Do I need to? Uh, okay, so what I can extend? Okay. 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 All right. Copied sub assemblies. Can I? <laughs> All right. Oh, select part. Yep. Okay, can I, do I remove this then? Put that up there. Maybe I can make it taller. Attach, and then put that claw on. <laughs> Let's try it. I don't know if this is gonna work. Um, oh, I don't have a servo mechanism. <laughs> yeah. So help. Right. Yeah. So let's go back in. <laughs> Uh, no, I want to go back into the other menu. <laughs> right, that's why. What was in the blueprint? Watering can lifter. Oh, it needs that, um, that thing that turns. Okay, that's what I got done wrong. Okay, so let's go back. Sorry, I'm not paying much attention to the chat. I have to think intensely about the buttons. <laughs> oh dear. Let's pull down and okay, rotatey thing. All right. So I need to remove this and then attach rotatey thing. <laughs> now I can go to the uh, inventory again and then I will select that thing. Okay. Can I turn it? I can. Oh, okay. But that's why it was on its side. Okay, okay. 
No, 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 no. Go back in there. Go back in there. All right, I need a piece that makes it go sideways so I can do this hook that goes up and down. Okay, I get it. Do I need it? If I just turn it, yeah, it's going to be no good. It needs to be um, perpendicular to the, the strut. Okay. <sighs> I'm good, I'm good. Right, um, inventory. Oh, I need to remove this first. Remove that. And then... What was the thing? I need one of these so I can put it sideways. There. And then I can... Do the turny thing. I guess that's okay. And then... I put this back on. Um, let's do some rotating. I don't know which way I want this. That gonna work. Let's just see, okay? Let's just see. Does this do anything? <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I quite got the hang of that. Well, let's just see. Do, is it big enough to knock the crate off anyway? No, it doesn't look like it. I think I'm going to just have to... You know what? I probably should just stop doing something a bit... Trying to be a bit too clever. I should just make it bigger, right? Make a really big, long... Strut. Right. Okay, let's go straight in then. Let's remove that. Remove... Remove, and I need to get that out. Let's add that, and let's just add the the claw thing to make it even longer. Zoom. I got my do zoom is two. There we go. That's better. Oops. Oh, colors. Okay, let's just do that. This is fun. And I wanted the claw, okay. Okay, and I got purple claw. <laughs> Is it too big? Okay. This is how I'm going to do the game. All right, so. I think my, my power is a bit top heavy. <laughs> uh, the purple paint makes it look a bit rude. I apologize. <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not going to say any more. Well, it is top heavy. Right. I fear I, I've really screwed the pooch. You know what? Is it going to be easier if I, I use the mouse? I feel like I was. I had much. Yeah, like I'm, I can move around a bit better with this. Okay, see, so look at the control now. One good RAM, he says. I gotta be careful about this ram. <laughs> I completely missed it. Oh, come on. Oh, at least it's self balancing. Fantastic. Now, I... <laughs> how to bring up my uh, menu again? Oh, I've completely no idea how to bring the menu up. <laughs> What's the command for bringing up... Uh... Edit vehicle. There we go. V. V is the, is the letter I'm looking for. Okay, so I wanna 
Um, I just want to go for the blueprint, right? Oh, I'm much better with, with the mouse. I should have just done this straight away. Okay. Right. Okay. Let's see. Is this good enough to pick up our crate? Okay. Then you control the, the crate now with the left and right mouse buttons. This looks just... Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> really? It's just... It's, this, this has got like... Oh, you can switch designs in the middle. Right, I gotta go over there and not lose this box. Yeah. Okay, move slowly. Oh dear. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you're gonna be kidding me. Can I just... Egg Spoon Race Simulator. Oh god, there's a blast from the past. Alright, alright. Okay, okay. We've got it on its side, so I can go around the other side now. Try and pick it up. Oh my god. This is about the point where you think, should I have... No! Ooh, that sound way can't work. Oh, nice. Physics does feel quite good when you when you're working with the mouse anyway. I feel like I just want it to fall down to me kind of thing, but let's just make it slow for now. <laughs> Yep, good. Avoid every bump. Oh, oh, bump alert. <laughs> Just avoid the bumping. Okay, we're good, we're good. Holy cow. Uh, Greg's just pointing out the color change. It's got to night time. It is a lovely looking game. Okay, so new contract crate of oranges. This sounds terrible. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, okay, accept. But I've now got a crate carrier, right? Right, let's have a look at the crate carrier. The crate carrier, what does this look like? Oh, okay. Still looks terrible. <laughs> oh dear. Uh... Each part is assigned to a different channel. Swap channels with Q and E. Okay. Okay. Wow, I need to get... Um... Okay, can you see to see which controls I'm currently on? Yep, looks good. Do the oranges have to stay in the crate? Is asking Salty Horse. We all want to know. I'm sure you're going to find out. Um. Okay, let's go. Oh, uh, there's a astronaut kind of. Oh, whoa! <laughs> okay. No one told me about the extreme drops. Wait, why am I coming? Oh yeah, deliver. Oh, we need to live here. Sorry. I want to. I wanted to have a look at the guys. Oh, hello, uh, Ian McMarty, developer of this uh, physics torture tester. <laughs> I should go off and get the uh, the crate. Hey, fast travels a lot. Can I just press the button and just jump there now? <laughs> Coffee mugs, very practical. Points at salty horse. All right, let's. Um... There is a crate of oranges right here, which I I didn't see. Okay, so this looks uh, hilariously entertaining. So, let's change to the other one. Uh, what was the channel changer? Q and E, right? Good. Well, oh, this is good. This is good. Nothing horrible is going to happen. Yeah. Um, so, I... I've sw I swapped. No, 
I think I need that uh, a little bit more forward, right? Oh, that's as far as it gets. Okay, let's switch to the other one and retract. This is fine. No sudden moves. Everybody be very quiet. <laughs> well, well, well. Obviously, you don't want to raise this too high, otherwise your center of mass is a little bit, uh, a little bit dangerous. Do we need all of the oranges? We haven't asked that question. We haven't answered that question. I mean, yep. hi there. Out the way, please. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Important parts for building. <laughs> Work with the crate of oranges. New contract, steel beam. <laughs> They're up there perfectly because I'm in the way. <laughs> Alright, where am I going? Good source of energy points out. Salty horse. Orangery. And those are some powerful oranges, says Crowley. And where? Sorry, next contract. I haven't. I haven't accepted the contract. <laughs> That's what the problem is. Uh, side jobs, step ladder, and supplies. Let's go for the main contract first. It's just... Oh, I've gone the wrong direction completely. Right. In the wreck of the orangery, who suffered more injury oh is this a route i have to take because i don't like it <laughs> i definitely lose a crate of oranges oranges around here forget if i wrote that myself in response to some plane there was no rhyme for orangery says matt no rhyme for orangery i don't like the word actually orangery orangery it's a puzzle. That's what needs to be on this Thinky Games channel. Wow, it's a long way. And there's, there's a lot of ups and downs. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, well, see, that was a that, that was the kind of uh, stunt trick I was trying to pull off there. Wow, they want one steel beam. I think I need to change which vehicle I've got. But then again, I don't think I can carry this. I don't, I don't think I can carry this, right? Really? Is this gonna work? Okay, okay. Yep, picking it up. This looks awful. Okay, I've gripped it. What happens if I pull it up a bit? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I don't think it's got the power. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm just, I'm just gripping all the time. Oh my god. <laughs> uh... Okay, it seems to be gripping it a little bit. This is madness. It's complete madness. Terrible. I feel like I need to build something which can carry this better. Oh my god! <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, let's go over the mountain there. That sounds like the best route. Oh my god. It feels a little bit heavy. You can hear it! <laughs> Do they care if it's a bit sandy? Oh, look at it. It's clean as a whistle. Jeez. <laughs> but it's not showing it's got any health bar, you know? As long as I get it. Well.
I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. It's getting there, okay? I've, I've, I'm working with the game. Why can't I turn? I'm curious. That's upright. Are you kidding me? They want me to put it upright? Oh my god. Nice. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling like this uh, vehicle is not really e equipped for that maneuver. I need to put in um, something to stand it upright. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't even, even if I do this. So, can I add something? Ah, dear. Can I just, let's find out, because the one thing I wasn't sure about is whether I can attach something and insert something. Because I want to insert, I don't know, something like that, right? But if I did... Oh, it has to go on top. That's the kind of thing you want, like that. And I can attach or remove. Let me go for another one of these um, pieces here, so I could. Oh, can I attach to that? Oh, I don't have any left. Okay. Oh, no, no. Undo. That's an undo! There we go. Let's take that. I don't like the fact that I have to build this thing. <laughs> What's that? That's a hydraulic cylinder. Let's put that there. Yeah, that looks good. We'll do that. That could be useful. And... I fear if I... that's asking for trouble. But we're gonna do it anyway. And... How does the rest of it work? Bumper. No, I don't have one of those. Hub. That has to be connected. The jaws has to be connected to a hub. Okay, so... I think I need to remove this hydraulic cylinder. Um, I'm going to put this here. And then I'm going to put one of those. I need it. I need to add the jaws, right? And the hydraulic cylinder between them. This is why I feel like I want to. Oh, there's no other pieces. Oh, so I'm sorry. Looking at the chat again. Um, you can copy paste sub-assemblies. Let's go back then. Alright, so... Copy, paste. Oh, there is a copy. Look at that. That is awesome. Okay, that's copied. So now I need to remove it. Oh... Right. Okay, this is much better. Nope. Undo. <laughs> I'm right-clicking to, to add things, which is actually removing. Now I can go for the sub-assembly. Hmm. Uh, if I rotate that... No, that's not the kind of rotating I want, right? So I need... That piece, then something like that. Is that gonna work? Let's see if I can. Oh, have I used up pieces I need? Yeah, I think uh, that that piece is needed. <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna work. So I can turn that. Not kind of like what I envisioned, right? 
Okay, so I put, maybe I've put that thing in the front. Is this gonna, that kind of. And then that will turn sideways. Still not what I want, right? Maybe I should, hang on. I can copy that sub-assembly instead. Maybe that will work better. Okay. Let me go back to this again. And... This. <laughs> it just... This doesn't look right, does it? I mean, that's kind of... I think I can grab it from my side and then lift it up, but then I need to do another rotation. Oh my god. Uh, so if I rotate it, I can rotate it. Oh, it's in the way. I could and then you can pick it up but I, I need to rotate it slightly different way don't I? I need to rotate it up and down something like that so I do need this piece then try again uh, one more of those, and then, then I can't put this down because I don't have enough pieces. Okay, get rid of that. Can I, I have this rotated a little bit. Let's put that on, but I'm going to rotate it a little bit, like that. Then, I feel like I'm doing this the hard, oop, undo, put that there, and then I can do that. Okay, you've got money to spend if you want to buy more parts. <laughs> I don't want it to get any more complicated, Ian. <laughs> this is fine, this is fine. Right. Oh, I mean business. Can this thing really pick it up? Uh, okay, that's the up and down one. Let's go for the... Oh yeah, look at that. It's, it's almost, almost perfect. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, maybe I could just... Yeah, I could do it that way. <laughs> that would be amazing if I pulled that off. My god. Yeah, I didn't think so. So I need to make these uh, wider, right? Then we can pull back. Whoa, whoa. Back, back, I said. Back, boy. Okay. Oh, now close. Good. Now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This is not gonna work. If I say that, and it does work, oh my god. <laughs> if uh, it's not gonna work, is it? If I can pull it down a bit, just let, let go of the little, little bit. Oh! <laughs> if it stays in there for about one second, would it actually work? I need to get the far end of it like that. Okay. Roll, go on down, down. The far end of it. This is where you're thinking, yes, maybe Ian was right. I need more parts <laughs> because I can't get the other end of it otherwise. Position it horizontally, then lift. Uh, 
you know what? Oh, it's, it's... So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy that. And then, I apparently, I can buy more parts. I am going to buy some more parts. Let's get another one of these connectors. Buy for 25. Let's get a couple, shall we? Okay, so now I can put some on. And then we'll put on the grabber. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Now, this is like my monster truck. Okay. Down. Servo motor. Where are we? Oh. Okay, let's just line this up a bit. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. Right. I don't know. Oh my god! This is the way to do it! <laughs> um, I mean, it's close, right? <laughs> um, okay, so what happens if I just... Hydraulic cylinder, hydraulic cylinder. Oh! Don't you dare. Oh uh, dear. Oh. Well, I'm gonna have to reset my vehicle, I think. <laughs> it's upright. Come on. Um. So, let's see. Oh my God! When that happens. No! 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 <laughs> Wow, still got to do shape theory yet. Oh, God. Yep. All right. This is... This is... It's fine. It's fine. How am I going to turn around, face it a little bit? No, I want that one. Oh my god. Um. Nope! <laughs> Alright. Okay. Uh, pull back a little bit. Then go slightly forward to the right. Oh, crap. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. We're good, we're good. I'm just holding on to this thing for dear life. Please, please just... Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, it's daytime. <laughs> Hello, Scoop Bureau. Well, there you go. Um, I guess it's stinky. Um, with all the... I really don't think that was the best thing to build. I, I probably could have done that better. You know, it's one of those things where you play through the entire game and you go like, wait, I've got some better designs now when you come back to it. <laughs> Sold yours with the witness's better beams. So that is the incredible <laughs> Mars First Logistics. Um... <laughs> where uh i mean it looks lovely it sounds lovely and um honestly what you need to do is invite some friends around and have them watch you do it and they can laugh at you intensely um okay so i'm gonna just pop that in the chat uh let's come up onto my 
nice lovely loading screen. All right, Alt F for it. And where we go? There is your. There you go. Uh, only on Windows, I'm afraid. Um, at least at present. Um, and we will move on to something calmer called Shape Theory from Neotoma Games, also a Windows only release, and came out uh, just uh, last month, May. No, no, now two months ago, May. Here it comes. Oh boy, I need a drink after that. Okay, so this is Shape Theory. Um, I'm going to start again. I've played for a few levels. Uh, again, this is a slightly confusing thing, and I'll take you through what was confusing about it. So let's start from the beginning. So, um, yeah, get to the end. Get to the checkpoint. That's all you have to do. Yeah, that's uh, taught you really easily. Uh, then you've got... You can't get out here. There's no there's no gap here. You can actually you can change uh, in the menu settings whether those translucent cubes look translucent or they're actually you know um, invisible. But I like them being translucent because you can see they they can be turned on and off. Um, and then we can't move on to a shape. It will kill us. We're gonna restart. That's un uncompletable at that point. Um, what I can do is link with the shape. And this is the thing was what I did before. It's like, well, I can't do that. So I reset and then I went in front of it and I pressed two to become linked with the shape. And I moved up and I, and I looks like I pushed it. That is not what happened. <laughs> so let me switch to two. I'm linked with the shape and it just follows my movements. I'm not pushing it at all. You can't push them. There you go. And once it's in its position, um, it's locked. Uh, okay, so press one or two unlink from shapes to get a better position. Um, so I need to move this on a sort of zigzag pattern down. So I will link, move across one, unlink, link, down one, unlink, oops. And link. The interesting thing is you can sort of die. Your white cube can die, but you can carry on doing the level. So if you need to die to do to finish the level, I think it's okay. And then link again, pull down. There we go. Now we've got two of them. So if I go up one, it's fine and come down and go right. Perfect, but with one problem. You need to be on the other side. Can't get through. I go there, I just die. Or the cube is wiped out. And that needs to be there, because otherwise this space isn't present. So let's start that again. So I need to... First of all, I'm going to move them up so the second cube is locked. Then move it down, and then move it across. So I will... Um, maybe that's not the way to do it. Could leave it there, couldn't I? If I leave it there, and then I can bring it down from over here. Then move up, link again. Then we can move them across, and I'm safe. Okay. You've got a move count in the top right. I haven't been, I haven't seen any levels where it says you've got to do it in five moves or something. But uh, I'm, I'm not sure if it's just simply a counter. I don't know if it has any any relevance. So what do we got here? This is actually an easy level than the last one. You just move everything into position so I can go left, right, and up, then left. Some of the very I was quite su surprised because the previous one is actually quite tricky, but that one is very simple, I find. Leaving the path may be the only way forward. So this is the thing I was talking about earlier. You can actually walk off and the level is okay. So I can link myself with something, move forward, and I will perish, but I'm actually okay. Uh, now I want to move them sideways and sideways one more time. Now we can go up as well. Okay. Um, some shapes move differently, so you can imagine what this is going to be, right? 
When you link, they go the opposite direction. These purple ones go the opposite direction to you. Well, let me just go up here so I can go down, get an extra move in, put it on its spot. Oh, there you go. Challenge moves. Finish in eight moves or less. Um, right. Okay, so how quickly can I get this done? If I link... I wonder if that's the quickest way to do it. If I go up and down, one of them's going to go off. So... Like that. Yeah. Oh, seven moves. I did it in the challenge. There you go. Some shapes can pass through other shapes. Okay. Not through me, it can't. Okay, so if I set myself like that, go right, and I'll go off. Three. Oh, that's interesting. So yeah, you could go through at the same time. You can't be on the space at the same time, but you can pass through each other. All right, see you, Greg. It is lunchtime after all. Have a good one. Lunchtime in the UK anyway. Well, what have we got in this one? So we've got... I go left and get that one in that spot. Then, well, that's got to go over the space there like that. Okay, and then like that, and we're done. When shapes collide, they are destroyed. Well, we've already seen that with ourselves. So I guess if I just do that, yeah, look at that, they just do that. I could do with the effects being a little bit more uh, explicit, like when something just like shrinks and it just disappears. I feel like I want something to be more like a, a kaboom or not necessarily explosion, but some, you know, glitchy, you know, some kind of something that looks like something negative has already happened rather than just shrinking out of existence. So let's reset that. Which one happens first? I've got to get the normal shape out of the way no because it looks like they both got to be done right two oh no okay so i pull it down then i switch to three okay then i can switch to two and over and there we go All right, so shapes that were once useful may need to be destroyed. Hmm. Okay, let's move this blue one onto that panel there. Oh, that, let me undo. There is an undo. I need to disconnect from that. Right, let's move the purple one across. Oh, okay, it's in the way. So. I think I need to go there myself and wipe it out. Okay, that's good. The only thing is, I guess there's um, there's hidden information. You can't know what the switch is going to unlock unless you've actually unlocked them. These levels are fairly simple enough that they're sort of driving you to their um, natural conclusion. Ooh, challenge level again. Uh, seven moves. So, I want to do what exactly? So... Well, got rid of everything there. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, I'm not going to do it. That's not the way to do it. Um... I wonder, if, how can I get one move? Oh, have I failed the challenge? I can't reset it. Okay. 
Okay, did I do it? <laughs> I'm not sure. I mean, is it like oh, I failed and it didn't let me have another go? Let's have a look at the menu. Um, let's. I want to go back to the main menu. I don't want to skip level. Yes. Let's have a look what the menu looks like now. Okay, I'm still in stage one. Uh, hang on. I want to, bring, me, bring me that back there. I want to look at that again. So, how many stages have we got on here? It doesn't say. I guess these challenges or something, uh, points which you use to unlock these stages later on up here. Zero of these things. There's also time trials. Okay. Continue. Not sure how many levels there are in the stage. Um, nine move challenge. So, wow. Okay, there's a lot going on here. I need. Uh, no. Let's reset. Let's try three. Right. Oh boy. So let's have a look. Uh, if I move all the blues across, I've got one blue, one purple. I can move into the. Oh no, that's bad. That's interesting. Okay, so uh, I can't move that purple out in the top right. If I destroy these purples here, then that purple in the top right is going to be the one that has to be the one. So I have to destroy purples at the same time. So I think it's down like that. Cross. And that. And the purple. Okay. I think I did the challenge there. I move challenge. Well, I, there you go. I, I'm interested to see the other mechanics. This isn't too difficult at the moment. This stage one, and I'm not really sure how much stuff is going to be added. Obviously, this is stage one of seven, so I'm curious to see this. And my time has expired. I spent too much time on Mars. Um, but that's Shape Theory, which uh, came out, um, yeah, just a couple of months ago. So I might see, um, try a little bit more of that in my spare time, and see like uh, what the next stage looks like, um, and if. Um, things get pretty exciting then I might come back and uh, do some more on a later stream but I guess I should leave it there for now it is getting uh, quite late in the UK lunchtime and as I always say these are hour-long streams uh, which are never an hour long that is quite a conundrum to solve answers on a postcard please to thinkygames.com at the world well thank you very much for everybody who turned up and, and watched me struggle <laughs> particularly with Mars first logistics um, I should pop the description in the chat, uh, sorry, the, the details in the chat for Shape Theory. Let me just grab that. Go. And uh, we'll leave it there today. And I'm going to have another stream next week because i got to stay on my... Uh, this is for postponed from last week and I've got to stay on my stream schedule otherwise I start bumping into lots of things in the next couple of months. You know, it's summer, holidays things are happening. Um, so I will be back on stream next weekend with more stuff, uh, which is as yet undecided. But until then, uh, stay safe uh, and puzzle even safer. Thank you very much, everybody. Cheers.